Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial and walkthrough on how to access Canvas, our district-wide learning management system, if you are a high school or middle school student here in BCSC. We do have a different tutorial and setup for all of our elementary students. So if you're an elementary student, you will want to check out that one, not so much this one. So to sign into Canvas, it is very, very easy. If you are logged into your BCSE Chromebook with your BCSE Google account, then you are technically already signed into your BCSE Canvas account. BCSE Canvas uses your Google username and password to get you into the system. To access it is also very easy. You'll need to open Google Chrome browser. And once you open Google Chrome browser, there are several ways you can get to BCSE Canvas. If you're signed into Chrome, it can be on your bookmark bar here. If you click that, you come over here to the Google Apps menu. This is another way you can access BCSE Canvas. I'll click the Apps menu and then I will scroll down to where it says Canvas. Make sure you don't click Canva, click Canvas. Another way I can access BCSE Canvas is by going to my school or the BCSE District website. There's a button that's been added onto the home page. So if I'm on the home page and I scroll further down, it is right below the video on the far right side and it says Canvas. If I click any of those buttons, it will take me to Canvas and prompt me to use my BCSE Google account to sign in or it will sign me in automatically if I'm already signed into Google Chrome with my BCSE Google account. Another way you can technically get to your BCSE Canvas account is if you type in the link directly, it is bcse.instructure.com and press enter. Once I'm signed into my BCSE Canvas account, I'm always taken to the dashboard. This is where I'm taken first anytime I go into Canvas. My dashboard is a really helpful screen where I have colorful course cards here where I can get to any one of my courses. All they have to do is just click the course and then I'm in. Other buttons you might want to be mindful of. On the right hand side of the screen is my to-do list. If I have any assignments, quizzes, or assessments my teacher has given me, this is going to show when I need to do those assignments, when they have to be submitted, and it's a really quick way to jump in and do those. I can also view my grades here, as well as any comments and scores my teachers have given me under recent feedback. On the left-hand side of the screen is your global or your main navigation menu in Canvas. If I click the account button, I can add a profile picture and update my settings. The dashboard is where I can access all of my courses and my information. Another way I can get to my courses is actually through the courses menu, but instead of the colorful cards, it's going to be a list view of those courses. If I click the calendar button, this is where I can see any upcoming assignments, due dates, quizzes, and events my teachers have put in my courses. All of your calendar events and assignment deadlines that are shown on here are going to be color coordinated. You'll have different colors and different events that pop up here for those different courses. My inbox in Canvas is where I can send messages to my teachers as well as read any messages my teachers have sent to me. To start a new message, I'll just click the pencil button on the top toolbar and decide what teacher I would like to send this to by typing in their name and then composing my message. I can respond to any messages my teachers have seen or sent to me on this screen. If I see a message here, click it, and then I have the opportunity to respond. In Canvas, I can type out a response, but I can also add links and files should I need to. The History button on Canvas will show me all of the places I have recently been when I've been signed in, and then the Help button allows me to get any help and access to tutorial guides in Canvas if I'm getting stuck. Now what I'm going to do is show you how you can access your courses and some basic navigation tips for those courses. All right, so if I click on this course, All right, so if I click the course card or its name, I can jump into that Canvas course. Every time I get into my Canvas course, it's going to take me to the course homepage. On the homepage, I see a couple of different menus I'll want to access. In the middle of the page is where I'm gonna see important information from my teacher. On the right-hand side of the page are a couple of other reminders. Immersive Reader is an accessibility tool that you'll have available in Canvas. It allows you to translate content, but it also allows you to read with your ears and have font and size of font adjusted on your experience in Canvas. Course Stream is going to show me activity in the course, including discussions and responses. The Course Calendar will show me any upcoming assignments and deadlines for this particular class. 
And course notifications will show me any messages my teacher has sent as well as any feedback or things I need to follow up on. To do will show me any assignments that I have upcoming in this course or things that I have not quite finished or submitted. There's also going to be a space on this course page for feedback once I start receiving grades from my teacher. If I go further down the page, the middle of the screen is where there's a lot of helpful information. Typically, you'll see the name of the class, your teacher's name, and possibly a welcome message and news from your teacher. There might also be some links for important things for you to review, as well as clickable icon buttons that will take you to important resources for your course. Some of these buttons might take you to study guides, textbooks, or websites you're going to be using often in your course. Typically, you'll also see a button that says modules or lessons. Modules are the way that teachers organize their content in Canvas. To access your lessons, you'll click the Learning Modules button here, or Lessons button, depending on how your teacher has named it. Or you can also get to it from the Modules button on the left-hand side of your screen. If I click Learning Modules, it will take me to the resources my teacher has set up for me to access. Modules are designed to be a step-by-step -step flow of the resources your teacher has put together. So as I look through for my lesson plan for day one, I would click this resource. Teachers can add all types of resources to a module. It can be a page where it's a lot of just reading information and maybe looking at some links. There can be discussions, there can be assignments, there can be quizzes, as well as a few other types of resources. Whenever I'm looking at a resource in Canvas, I'll wanna keep scrolling down the page. I wanted to use Immersive Reader for translation and language support. I can click that in the top right corner and it will open that on my full screen. Whenever I get to the bottom of the page in Canvas, this is where I can click the next button to view the next item in this particular module. If at any point in time I need to return to the home page for the course, all I have to do is come up here to the top of my screen and click the home button. And I'm gonna be taken back to where I started. If at any point in time you need assistance, you can talk with your teacher or message them through the inbox tool. We hope this tutorial has been helpful and good luck using Canvas this year.